All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back. We're doing something a little bit different, a little bit similar. Since we finished Cyberpunk, we're going to uh, have some fun with the Outer Worlds. Thank God for Obsidian existing. I played this like when it first released and did one playthrough, never picked it back up. So the DLC for it is out and I want to pick it back up. So let's, uh, let's hop right into it. Uh, let's go normal. Uh, conversation subtitles show... Show bark subtitles? If disabled subtitles will, uh, will not be shown for words spoken out. Oh, okay. Well, let's go with that. Stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, so I got six points. Ah, uh, this affects melee damage. Yeah, not not a big fan of melee dexterity does what? Affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload time and the amount I can carry. Intelligence critical hit bonus. Wait. Oh, one point equal okay. That's how that goes. Perception hit affects headshots and weak point damage bonuses. There are weak points in this game? I don't remember that. Temperament improves your natural health. Yes. Let's uh, kind of go in on health. What does perception do again? No. Um, and I guess strength. All right, next. We got two points available. Let's go into range. A crack shot, capital. And let's see what else do we have? Leadership, inspiration, and termination. Now let's go dialogue if we're ever captured I'll let you do the talking uh, what is this background or aptitude uh, Colin has sounded like a very nice entry-level career <laughs> sure uh, for a person of your skill expanding humanity's reach and civilizing cosmic frontier was that determination plus one <coughs> drink effects Nah. Bureaucrat rank zero. What am I, Hermes Conrad? Uh, the universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. <laughs> that That's straight just a bureaucrat from Futurama. Uh, cashier. Press one to persuade. Shock damage. Plus one to engineering. 
Corrosion damage, inspiration, to toss ball team mascot, safety inspector, scientist. Let's go cashier. Good. I might require you to push a few buttons. All right. Stick with female. Head. Oh, wow. I kind of like one, but let's keep moving. Four is also nice. Let's take a look at four again. Four versus. Mm. Let's go with four. Skin tone. Yeah. Oof. That is a contrast. Wait, it's just going in a cycle. It's just going in a cycle, I think. Well, that's bet. That, I guess six is good. Eye color. Jeez, that's nice. But let's look at uh. There we go. Brow horizontal. What does that mean? Oh, they're coming in closer. Brow frontal. Mm. Let's keep it about there. No, let's keep it. Like, that's good. Eye horizontal. Hmm. Eye size. Let's make them a bit smaller. Vertical. I don't really care. Uh, jaw vertical. How massively far up or far down can we make this? I'm not gonna make an abomination of a character. I just wanna look at it. Mouth size. Mouth vertical nose size. Let's shrink that a little bit. Gorgeous. No, what the hell is a nose tilt? Oh, no. Let's bring that in a little. There we go. Cheeks. We go chubby, nah. In just a bit. Lovely. Hair. Definitely don't like the haircut. <laughs> Ooh. I like that. Hair color. Straight jet black. Wait, what the hell? Hmm. Let's go with that. Facial hair. I can... Hold on. Did I see mutton chops? I did see mutton chops. No, thank you. Oh, my God. Facial hair color. Features. Features of what? Nah, I think we're going to stay away from makeup. I'm not a big fan of makeup in general. Dirt, no dirt, scars. That looks nice. Age. Oof. <laughs> All right, next. Name. Okay. That looks good. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend.
Thanks for the kidnapping, bro. Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. the correct reaction. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Excuse me? Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> this joke again. <laughs> Okay, so thank God for no explosive cell death, whatever the fuck that means. God, there's something similar in actual science that I'm forgetting the name of. It's it's when water flows into a cell and it just fucking pops. What's it called? Please help me out if you know what it is. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Okay, and we drop. trusted the fellow might have gone after the bounty on my head shame about the whole squashing thing nasty way to go god i kind of forgot how beautiful this game looks it's got a nice aesthetic to it what do we got through here Adrenaline. Is that it? That's not. That's not fun. Uh, 
hell's going on? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Yeah. Side effects, sure. Ow. Hello. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Ah, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what happened to you? Spacer's what? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Right, uh, what about, what is this about Marauders? What were you looking for? Hiding in a cave, blocked off the exit, you're as good as dead. Investigating an illegally grounded ship, all spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract Marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here. And I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? A uh, good idea, but I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll help you. Someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Hmm. You'd better take my gun then. Uh, careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. Here, you can have my saber too for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Yeah, um... Uh, can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about the Hope? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Right. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Yeah, yeah, corporate dystopia. Let's, uh, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Can I steal any other shit from you? It just gives me the option to attack and kill him. He can stay here in his little hidey hole. Wait, what's this? Give. Give. Backpack. Damn it, my ears! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Tactical, tactical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after extended hibernation. Your brain processes time differently. If only that was real. Uh, press tactical time dilation uh, button, which is okay. So R one. Oh, hold. I need a do new damn controller. Okay. It's gonna take me a minute to get out of the uh, use use square as select because that was the weirdest thing from Cyberpunk. No other game has done that hacking and lock picking. Okay. Oh, it's lock picking stuff. Okay. Hey. 
Shit, I missed. Oh shit! Okay. It's cool. Not, um... Oh, shit. There we go. Two more. And that's a better way to take care of it. Wait, there were three of you. Where's your friend? I will say it and I will say it now. I don't care how unrealistic it is. I want games to do dual wielding weapons more often. Just do it. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gull on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh, it's just a landing violation, let it go. So I've heard, found one of your teammates holed up in the cave. I've already dealt with a few marauder, marauders, not impressed. Really? How is he? Well, I helped him out. Uh, he'll make it. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Mm-hmm, corporate just, dystopia, you know, yeah. Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh, the Spacer's Choice scars back down from a challenge. I bet you could, uh, get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. Have fun. Laminate that damn report. Oh shit. You gotta suffer. I just earned a fine bonus. Alright. Uh how does one weapon management? Up to four weapons, navigating. Okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. That works. <laughs> and we might as well just steal the ship. Please 
be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. That's already Marauder, a lie. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Hello, Marauder. I am Greetings. Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Right, uh, what are you gonna do, self-destruct? <laughs> uh, I'm not here to misappropriate anything. Jefferson procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get the ship in the air. Is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne was supposed to meet me here. Hawthorne is dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yep. I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne? Yeah. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Okay, let's, uh, engineer. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yep, thanks. Uh, captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable, I like it. Knock it off with the Captain Hawthorne shit. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Sweet. If that noise doesn't make me feel accomplished every time I level up, that's... I don't know what does. Alright, skill improvements. Yay. Thanks, Auntie Cleo. Okay, so I got 10 points available. What do we want to do? We definitely want to do handguns right now. Or ranged. What that? Wait. Our defense, blocking, and dodging. Stealth. Let's go tech. Leader. Leadership. We got five more options. So let's go back into definitely range like two more times. Dialogue, one stealth, and mm, screw it. Why not? Why not melee? Melee tech power, strange. Combat dialogue abilities. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do. What is this? Uh, you get two perk points. Spend every two levels. Okay. Yeah, definitely increase health. Wait. Sweet. Out we go. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, 
Well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh, no, but nobody pays me. What? I don't have a job. Uh, really, after I patched up your friend, uh, you've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. My name Edgewater is Talia, not Catherine. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Bye bye. All right. She said east, so this way. Oh, for good, what is this? A camp? No, we'll stick with the gun. So one of them flew past me when I shot him. Where'd his body go? Somewhere around here? No? Okay. Nothing. Blew his fucking legs off. Jesus. So I killed them all and got a shortcut. That works. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? The, the plains. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I uh, just passing through. My pod crashed in the hills. How do you know I'm not a marauder? I'm not saying that. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Okay. <laughs> uh, never got your name. Do they pay you to chat with strangers? Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Is that uh, why there's a pair of armed guards? I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse-chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. Okay. Wait, there's cannibals? Oh, worse. Unemployed cannibals. Jesus. You ever seen a marauder hold down a job or put a stake into society? Uh, if you've got a marauder problem, I can take care of it. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. Okay. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Right, um... Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Looking to make some money. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. What does any of that mean? The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. 
You get a promotion by the number of corpses. Um, actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. Right. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh, depends on the work. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Right. That's incredibly fucked up that you, you gotta consistently pay for a grave? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. It, it should be... Okay, um... Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Right. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Uh, why is he special? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Yeah, that helps me a lot. Thanks, buddy. Uh, where can I find them? Something else I wanted to ask. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Cool. Yeah? Uh, what else is there? Uh, pretty bad shape, if it's keeping you employed. Uh, you lose a lot of people to Marauders. Have you heard anything about the Hope? Nobody has. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30... Carry the one, uh, all my life. Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem's the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Right, because there shouldn't be fees, but whatever. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Uh, we're not falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Yeah, I don't think you grow accustomed to a plague, but 2020, whatever. What's up, guys? Let me just, uh... Just, uh, got anything I can steal? I oh, know. Exit. Screw it. Who's that? There's nothing in there. Wait. energy cells. Nobody saw that, right? I didn't go in there. Welcome to Edgewater. Is there a way to holster? Nope, just, just walking around with my gun out. Okay. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Okay. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why is that? I go where I want. Hey, keep it down. That kind of talk's bound to put sights on the both of us. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Uh, why are you in trouble? Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. 
You don't want what we've got. Yeah, but you said you were in trouble. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fucking ridiculous. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Sure. So what in God's name was that? Anybody in here? Nope. Oh, there's a corpse in here. That's who's in here. You asleep or dead? I think he's asleep. Dead. And it's not feeling to take this. <coughs> Let me just uh, take that. Oh, they're shooting the the rodents. Heard something outside the walls today. Nothing. General store. Let's sell some of this crap. But first, let's actually. Uh, let's see what uh, we can do. Not that great. Actually, this is better. What's this? Oh, that's the hibernation suit. How much armor does that actually have? Three, four, two. Hmm. All right, screw it. What's up, buddy? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Is there a difference? Where can I find parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Okay. Music to my ears. Uh, let us sell some things first. I do not intend on using head headwear. I think that's all we can sell. Oh wait, no. Junk. <coughs> uh, what is this, a shotgun? How many, how many bits do we got? 103, can't, buy. Something got you down? Nothing, just don't want to fall sick. Wait, let's actually, Yes. Let's start collecting these fees before we even progress a little bit, because you know, always good to have a little bit of XP, a little bit of money. If you're falling sick, I don't want you. Here. Hey, buddy. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Definitely. Uh, I'm here to, uh... Wait, I can show you my hands. <laughs> so everyone says, 
until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. No, don't care about that. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Yeah, um... Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care, pay up. Uh, you have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. That's... No, that's dumb. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Um... Let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Okay. Works well. Um, anything in here? No, nothing in the fridge. What can I do for you? Uh, persuade. I know about Eugene. Uh, not. Why not use his teeth as collateral? You know about Eugene? How? I found the note from Phyllis, know your business, I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. No, you shouldn't. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Sure, he won't miss them. <laughs> That's unthinkable. Eugene's body, and all rare earth minerals contained therein, are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I mean, you can, but <laughs> it's real it's it's only dependent on your morals there, buddy. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. See ya. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. And over, you just rob him. There a reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Take it easy. He didn't send me. Uh. I heard you muttering to yourself, perception, tell me. You some sort of wandering alienist? 
walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. <coughs> there we you go. as well hear it from me. I'm dying. Oh. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Sorry to hear that. You're being paranoid. Uh, I'm sure that's all very tragic. Pay me so I can get out of here. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Okay. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Sure, why not? Uh, wait, not so fast, got questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you do that, uh, buy the medicine yourself? Corporate dystopia, they don't have the money. Uh, <laughs> you will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Understood. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Okay. So you'll do it then? Sure. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. No, you can't. Uh, anything I should know? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. All right, is that it? I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it. Uh, try not to cough on anybody. Don't want COVID. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Who's, who said that? Is that you? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Why not? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Right. Uh, what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Which is? Alright. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. So you want to ration the medicine? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. All right. Well, corporate dystopia, I should probably change clothes so people stop, uh, Asking me about that. <coughs> Alright, so who's left? There. Wasn't there another grave site fee that I was supposed to collect? And yeah, we'll see. But we're going to do that when we return in a moment. So I thank you for joining me. Uh, hope you're enjoying. If you are, drop me a file if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment.